Hello and welcome to episode one of the Power BI Show. I'm going to start the series off today by looking at the new drill through filter function. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at drill through filters. Uh, these were first demonstrated back in June at the Microsoft Data Insights Summit and they've now found their way into production uh, with the September updates to both the Power BI desktop application and the Power BI service. Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you an example of adding drill through filters to an existing multi-page report and what this will enable you to do is add interaction between pages uh, by enabling you to drill down through from one page to another and then pass values from the calling page into the second page and then using those uh, to filter your data. So let's get going. Okay, before you get started, you just need to ensure that you've got a copy of the Power BI desktop application that was released on or after September 2017 uh, when the drill through uh, feature was added to the product. If you have, then on your filters section, in addition to the page level filters and the report level filters, you should now have drill through filters as well. Uh, what this enables you to do now is to add some fields uh, to the drill through filters on a page and then you can drill through to that page from another page um, by passing through uh, one or more of those uh, fields. Um, so just to demonstrate this, I've uh, set up a relatively simple uh, report with some uh, pages in it. Uh, these pages so, uh, are looking at sales amount by product category, product subcategory, by manufacturer, then I'm doing sales by product and showing sales by month. Now if we look at the product subcategory page for example, uh, our visual shows uh, it's quite messy and difficult to look at. What it would be nice to be able to do is to go to the product category page uh, and then select one of the product categories and then to be able to drill down to that product subcategory page and filter this visual based on the uh, product category that we selected. So we can do that with the drill through feature and we can do that by uh, adding the product category into my drill through filters and the first thing it's going to ask me to do is just uh, create this back button uh, that's just an image file and the, what that will do once we publish this report out you can click on that and it will take you back to the page that you drilled down through to this page from uh, but we're not going to worry about that just at the moment so we can see here now on the product subcategory page I've, uh, I've got a drill through filter of product category. Now if I go back to my product category page and right click on one of the product categories uh, either in this uh, uh, chart here or in this table I now have an additional option to drill through and I can drill through to that product subcategory page. It will take me to that page and uh, now the visual is filtered for just uh, product subcategories for the product category I selected. So in that case computers and my table is also uh, filtered appropriately and we can see there in the drill through filters it's just showing that uh, show product categories that are equal to computers. Now we can take this a little bit uh, further now. Uh, let's get rid of that. I can actually bring in, uh, let's bring in manufacturer and bring in subcategory. Now go back to that product category page and I can I can either do again select the computers or on this chart for example I could uh, drill down to a subcategory now if I if I right click and select projectors and screens and drill through to the product subcategory page it's just going to be limited to that product subcategory again I can I can look at uh, say for example let's drill back up first I can select in this table uh, that I want to look at uh, say computers sold by Contoso. If I now drill through uh, to the product subcategory page what that's going to do is uh, pull through the manufacturer of Contoso and uh, and the product category, sorry the manufacturer of Contoso and the product category of computers. So each time it's pulling through the appropriate fields and in that case I didn't have a product subcategory so it wasn't, it wasn't pulling that through. So we can start to add uh, some drill throughs to the other pages. Now let's do the same again for the manufacturer. I'll 
bring in manufacturer again wants me to create that back button let's do that bring through product category and product subcategory and for sales by product let's do the same again manufacturer product category and product subcategory and then again for my sales by month And now I've done that, I've got a full interaction between these all of these pages. So I can uh, I can right click on computers and I can drill through to all, any of the other four pages and take through computers as my filter. So TD and radio, for example, let's have a look at that one. So we've got um, sales there of, of almost 1.4 billion. Let's drill through to these sales by month. And there we see, we can see those sales by broken now broken down by month uh, for uh, the values we passed in there of, of TV and video. If I go back, say, let's have a look at the manufacturer page. I can say I want to look at uh, sales by manufacturer here. So it's like uh, Fabrican. Let's go through to sales by month and see where that 1.9 billion uh, was split. And perhaps if we go back to uh, sales by product, I want to have a look at a particular uh, product from a particular manufacturer. I can right click and drill through to sales by month. And there I can see how that was split. Actually, if I had to do that, I need to bring in the uh, product name as well. Let's try that again. Uh, so let's right click on that. Sales by month. And then we can see there where the sales were. So what happened previously it was, it was just bringing through the uh, manufacturer, the product category, and the product subcategory. So you do need to include all the filters uh, that you want to want to select on. So that now gives me a fully interactive report. So. Um, Whereas before we just had the options to drill up and drill down, they're, they're features that have been in uh, the Power BI product for a while now. Um, we can now ex expand upon that with drill through, and uh, yeah, the, the, and that's really all there is to using drill through in your reports. It's a great way to get uh, an expanded view uh, and build interaction between pages within a report. That's it for today's show. If you enjoyed it or found the content useful, then please hit the like button and please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll make. That's it for now though. Until the next time, thanks for watching.